Hello friends and welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday, the 9th of September. It's hump day! Hope you're having a great midweek. Well, the reason why I'm outside is because I'd like to share a little something with you about my backyard and the vines that are out on the back fence. Can you see them? Can you see those beautiful vines? Well, remember on Monday when I talked to you a little bit about those nasty little hornworms and how they destroyed our tomato plants? Well, truth be known, they're not good for anything, ever. Hornworms have no purpose except to be destructive. So it would be perfectly fine with me if they never existed. <laughs> now, there's some other creatures out there that can be destructive even though they're pretty and even though they're useful, and that's why I want to share it with you today. You know, I was, uh, I was out back with Michael over the weekend, and we were really excited because we have been growing these vines on our back fence for months and months and months now, actually more than months, but this was the first year that these vines yielded fruit. And the fruit that they yielded was muscadine grapes. And we were so thrilled about it. We would go out at day after day after day and we would look and they started out really, really, really tiny, like almost like the head of a pin. And then we watch them get bigger and bigger. There were hundreds upon hundreds of grapes out there. We were so excited. So we figured, okay, they're at a point now. Uh, last week we were looking at them and said they're getting nice and pudgy. It looks like it's time to go pick the muscadines. So we went out on the weekend and we went to go pick them. And we looked and we looked. And guess what, folks? They were gone, honestly. Well, not all of them. Out of the hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of grapes that were out there, there were 18 left. <laughs> 18. Look at that. That's what was left out of the bunch. And you know why? Because those gorgeous, beautiful songbirds that we listen to every day in our backyard decided they would have a feast. And I thought, well, 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 at least somebody got to enjoy them. <laughs> All but 18 of them, that is. We're going to get to enjoy these. <laughs> My point being is that just because they're wonderful and just because we enjoy those birds and certainly we wouldn't want them to go away forever the way I would like the hornworms to go away forever. But just because we want them to go away forever doesn't mean, okay, that we want the birds to go away forever. No, birds serve a great purpose. Besides just being beautiful to look at and graceful to watch and, and be pleasing to the ear, it's also wonderful when we see birds going from plant to plant and, and pollinating things for us and that kind of thing and the, watching the hummingbirds. and It's just lovely to watch the birds. They're great. I wouldn't ever want a world without birds in it. I mean, there's birds mentioned in the Bible. There's birds mentioned in literature. There's birds. My sister is a huge bird watcher, and she's given us great books about birds and magazines about birds, and we've learned a lot about the birds that are native to our area. And then when we've gone in other countries and seen some of the birds there that you don't get to see in America, it's a thrill. It's a real thrill. But my point, of course, is that just because they're wonderful in those ways doesn't mean they can't be destructive, too. You know, there's a lot of things out there that are wonderful. Chocolate is one of them. <laughs> I love chocolate, but too much can be very destructive on my body. And uh, there's other things. Maybe you might be a one who enjoys a glass of fine wine. That could be very enjoyable, but too much of that could be very destructive, too. And for, for those who have that as, a, as an issue in their lives, it's better to stay away completely. You know, there's a lot of things out there that are good in moderation, and uh, they serve a purpose, but left to their own devices, and when you let them take over, they could be very destructive. So my encouragement to you today, boys and girls, is please be careful when you have something that could be dangerous in your life, that could be a trigger. Maybe it's better to just not have it at all in your life than to have it be something that overtakes you. You know, we should have been a little more careful watching those grapes, and we should have picked them maybe a little bit sooner, 
but who knew? It was the first time we'd ever experienced that before. And like our tomato situation, which didn't turn out as good as we wanted it to, we're going to learn a lesson from this and be careful next time and pick a little sooner. But I have to say this, at least somebody enjoyed the delicious sweet grapes. I'm glad it was the pretty birds. Maybe they'll sing even louder and bring their friends so we could hear them sing in a beautiful chorus and bring us joy. All right, now listen, don't forget to go be a blessing to somebody today. You may end up being the only one who is. Be a blessing like our grapes were to those birds, okay? And don't forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time another Take Two is posted. I love you all very much. Enjoy your home day. I'm going to go inside and eat my 18 grapes. <laughs> I'll share with Michael. I'll see you all on Friday for my unsung hero. Love you all. Bye-bye.